Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, and it's uh, July 20th. Uh, a couple of economic news releases to schedule, schedule for today. Uh, we got, of course, our weekly jobless claims that comes out every Thursday. So last week we had 248,000 people apply for unemployment. The forecast is supposed to be within that range at 245,000. And this week it came in uh, much lower at 233,000. So a good number there. So jobs are still showing some strong numbers here, which is obviously a good sign for the economy. We got uh, Philly Fed. This is the uh, uh, Philly Fed is the manufacturing numbers out of the Philadelphia region. And as you recall, um, on Monday I think it was we had uh, the New York Empire, or you know, I'm sorry, the Empire State Index, uh, which is the New York region for manufacturing. And those numbers disappointed, and of course. Um, Philly uh, also disappointed. So we had a 27.6 reading back in June, but it dropped down to 19 and a half in July. So we got two areas so far in July that shows a drop from June to July. Uh, leading economic indicators, however, is on a good tone here. Uh, May we had a 0.2 percent increase for leading indicator economic indicators, and in June it uh, went up another 0.6 percent. So that's obviously pretty good here. So a little bit mixed here. Uh, obviously manufacturing is a bit disappointing, but jobs still look to be pretty good. Uh, things are projecting a little bit better uh, for leading economic indicators. So let's take a look here at the headline news. Stock market's a bit mixed today. Uh, of course, a lot of, as we mentioned all week, uh, earnings reports are taking most of the precedence here, and uh, we're getting a few um, earnings reports that kind of disappointed today that came out. Uh, also, one that kind of um, moved the markets quite a bit was uh, ECB's had their announcement today. They left their rates unchanged, but he kind of mentioned that this economy is getting strong. So, uh, but he's going to keep. Uh, he thinks that uh, interest rates should be kept at a um, uh, low rate environment right now. So, um, so kind of had kind of almost um, like a. Um, uh, mixed signal because when he was talking about some of this, we saw markets going up and we saw them going down. So we had this seaside effect going in the course of his uh, speech or his announcement this morning. And uh, still, it's a little bit volatile even after his uh, uh, speech, as I think many, uh, a lot of the investors are kind of going back for trying to decipher through what he said, these earnings reports that came out, of course, uh, what came out on um, uh, the economic data to try to get position, especially when the markets, the stock market's been going up so much, we're reaching new highs all the time that uh, for the most part, it looks like it might be just kind of taking um, a step back and putting money out of the market as a result. So as you see here, uh, this kind of represents what the kind of day we've had here. We've got the seesaw effect. So we got uh, we're currently sitting between the 50-day uh, and the 200-day moving average where it were uh, up much higher. Uh, but again, um, these mixed messages and signals came out. We're kind of getting, they're kind of basically at a unclear position as to where they want to be right now. Uh, so that's why you get this kind of starry effect. So they're kind of at basically, we're only about three basis points higher than where we left off yesterday. Uh, again, we're sitting right in between that. We could potentially go higher, but again, uh, they're kind of, you know, I think investors are just confused and even uh, treasuries aren't really doing anything. Even treasuries are down. Stock market's kind of mixed, so it's kind of a little light in there. Uh, we do have, uh, I think, Dow is down when we just started this, uh, started this, and of course, mortgage-backed securities are down. So basically, it looks like a lot of money is kind of coming out, kind of sitting there, kind of determining as to where they want to reposition their money, if it's going to go in equities, or if it's going to go in mortgage-backed securities, if it's going to go in treasuries. Uh, it's just, it's, uh, I think they're a little confused as to where they want to go at the moment. So I think we may see some clarity, so it might be a good idea to stop over to Twitter. Uh, the pricing uh, interest rates really haven't changed at all, so kind of give you a heads up on that. Uh, but if you guys want to uh, come over to Twitter, I'll be posting market close. So we'll see if the market got better uh, earlier, but within the last hour, even we were up like 12 basis points. So now we're only about three basis points. Just come over to Twitter at Mike Bjork and you'll uh, receive more updates throughout the course of the day, including the market close, to see uh, how we finished it up. Uh, that usually comes right out around after two o'clock uh, Pacific Coast Standard Time. Uh, so anyways, uh, if you, also you guys are in the market for a purchase or a refinance, I am a loan officer. I can help you guys out with that. So if you guys are looking for uh, assistance with your pre-approvals and getting the financing for your next property, just uh, feel free to reach out. The best way to reach me is uh, via email. Uh, which, when, where you found this, you can go ahead and uh, just click uh, contact me and uh, reach me through that route uh, as well as um, 
refinance. We're doing a lot on refinances for people taking money out of the property. Um, you know, some people are doing debt consolidation. Some people are adding on to their properties because of the low inventory. They're not finding anything. And uh, we got people, investors who are taking money out and rebuying new properties. We got people who are going from adjustments to fixed rates to uh, 30 to a 15 year. We got people who uh, were, have been still in a higher uh, interest rate, in the 6% or higher range, uh, simply um, haven't been able to get into a, a mortgage until recently um, for various reasons. So anyways, feel free to reach out and we'll see how we can uh, help you guys out as well. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.